All right, just pop this over here, make sure everything's up. There we go. So today, we might just start with a bit of grinding for a while. I'm pretty sure we have everyone in our party now, for the most part. Ugh. Don't forget, is this, like, anything important? Extra boss and battle items. I don't think I could actually use any of this. Yeah, I can't. That's fine. I don't care about that. Also, I guess you get something if you see all the bad ending scenes. Or, you know, like, it helps you if you see all the bad ending scenes. To get, like, achievements. I don't actually need it for anything, but... But I don't have that. I guess you can get trophy stuff, too, if you get, uh, skills upgraded. Well, if you get more skills. So, yeah, we got... <clears throat> we got six party members now. It can be made by pressing A in battle. Oh, right, right, right. This is for that. I always forget they have these. <laughs> Access during battle. So how many can you have equipped at once? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You can have 13 skills equipped at once. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we have 14. Take all these off so I can organize them. They've been unorganized for far too long. Okay, so, uh, let's see what we got in here. Be assigned to the third slot, all ranged, move, ultra damage, speed up for all. It's probably fine to have the super glitch stuff on. I think having the super glitch stuff on is fine. Uh. the recovery ones first. I don't know if those at the bottom. Recovery. Buff. And then attack. Uh, that one's pretty powerful though. I want to have it. So she has the normal magic slash attacks, and then the actual magic attack, that's just the beams, and then she has these three attacks. Moon attribute damages enemies. I feel like for right now, I don't need that many. 
I think I'll just leave those two on for right now. I'm not bothered to put the other ones on. But then again, if I'm not going to use the other thing, I could just uh, leave it on still for right now. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Feel it for yourself. and move first next turn air recovery air recovery resurrect people resurrect more people super recovery thing and then fight move Enemies. She has more space, so I'll do that. <clears throat> now, what do we got for Al? This will just be all of our management stuff. All the management. Does Al have, like, I don't think Al has healing moves. Increase physical attack. Wait, what did I just do? Oh. Okay. But this is on recovery instead of attack. Light range, medium recovery. Okay, that does recover. And then defense down. Available when physical attack decreases. Ultra damage, shoal eruption. I'll put this on. I'll put this down here because it's kind of like a super move. And then I guess we can do our star stuff. Magic attack, physical attack, physical attack. Okay, so we have the three physical, and then... Oop. Oop. And thank you, Root, for the follow. I appreciate it. Chad, uh, please. Stop. She doesn't have, like, any skills. Put her some HP for units and radius. Removes poison. Stun enemies. Only usable at full HP. Restores parties. HP and raises corruption resistance. Share all of your status effects with your enemy. to use her more to unlock her other skills. Uh, she does have an AoE heal herself. Oh yeah, she has that status ailment one too. Recovery that revive. Cover SP. Deals massive damage. I'm impervious to damage. She can't even use this right now. It costs too much. <laughs> Only usable when physical attack is boosted. It's gonna attack herself.
Prefer a high amount of range speed than lower your physical attack. I guess you can put it there. Moon, 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 moon. I feel like I never have anyone that actually hurts moon types very well, so that might be good. Uh, that's the AoE one. Okay. Oh, that should be fine for those. Get more, more thingamabobs. Also, one second. Make sure all this stuff is fine. Blah. Oh yeah, I forgot we have stuff to do in the real world right now too. But we also need to grind really quick. party member for a second just so I can get her other skills. I can just try her out too because I haven't yet. Huh. Can I only work to places inside of here? I thought I could go back to the old areas. See how these guys this are. fight is mine. Let's go. What's that? I'm gonna say, hopefully, most of them aren't all star enemies, but we do have a few. They all have a lot more HP than before. This is supposed to be like the learning curve portion of the game. Other no things around there. There's like an auto battle thing in this. All good. Yeah. Yeah. Eureka! Yeah. <laughs> One more time. I'm kind of spirit. Leave it to me. Identifying oh, no. enemies' weak points. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't All need right. that many. Got him. Blast All right, off. leave it to me. I'll get him. I think the green plan also to be all massive damage. Yeah, I haven't tried it before. Look sharp. What's this do? Hmm. They didn't tell me how to I'm do that. Getting the hang of it. Uh, I can I can shoot it in different directions. I'm getting the hang of it. Um, that went well. Oh, that's an interesting move. Not Leave too it to shabby me. out there. Any idea what it is? Memory no recovery and book though. Speed recovery. All good. Sure. <laughs> Just some. <laughs> Why did it all yeah. mess? Eureka! Man, all of those keep missing. Scanning. Oh, I can just all right. Out of here. Blast off. I'll get him. I forgot we require things. more information. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Disappear. Well, it went far away. All right, keep going. Definitely did that. level 50. I probably should get them all to level 50, finally, I think. I feel like they're a bit too underleveled compared to the rest of the people. an airship or something to go back to the area as quickly. Actually, I haven't looked at my quests in a while. You called for me, right? Oh, a quest. Oh, a quest. All right. That should do it. Oh, a quest. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, a quest. Oh. can't take it right now. I need to finish the other ones first. Those are all for quest items, huh? And they give you a lot better items you for equipment for me. Now. Take a gander at the goods on display. Sword that bolsters fighting spirit really greatly increases defense and magical abilities. I mean, it doesn't impair my attack. Is this so Thank you. I have no real reason not to buy it. Mm, Is this so Thank you. He hasn't had a good upgrade in a while. 
I'm good for right now. I can do without you for now. <clears throat> magic bracelets for magic defense. Is this a thank you? How Man, might I, I be of See you around. You called. Were you Actually, interested in Is there in weird things that you're supposed to be able to seal? Money item? I suppose that answered that question. Is this a thank you? Is this a thank you? You okay, called. Yeah, that gave ah, me a lot more money. You wanted to browse my web. Bring the increased swiftness to wear. Okay, these are just straight stat stuff. Is this a thank you? Is this thank you? I feel like that one's not very useful. Is this okay? Thank you. I'll buy another one of those. Is this thank you? Is this thank you? Probably want more. How though. might I be? Be careful oh. out there. I haven't been able to equip most of these girls in forever's. You probably actually want physical defense, right? This one. I see. One. Check this out. Uh, Check this out. I don't want anything on you. You have stuff on. This is it. You can have that one. Not bad. Then you get the left I've made my choice. This is nice. Okay. Well, they're all actually equipped now. That's good. Can I, like, walk back through the whole entire game <laughs> instead of actually teleporting? That is now the question. Or do they not let me leave? Oh, they don't let me leave. Interesting. That means if I want to train, I have to train here. Yeah! I'll take it down before it notices me. Just wait till I get to you. Hurry, look inside. One switch. <laughs> hey, how's this? Ha! Here, there. Go! Get out of here! I'll end it. Is it dangerous? She's good against sun, right? Oh, wait, no, she's good against star also. But her damage is also really high. Perfect. What happens if I try to use multiple ones of these? I can't. Perfect. Not that one either. Perfect. 
trying to see if I could get him in. Ah, I can. Too slow. Leave it to me. All right, leave it to me. It actually seems like it does a lot of damage. Leave it to me. Pretty sure he'll ask me green, right? Scanning. All right. Purify. Witness the light. Oh, All right. Huh? I'll work harder. So what was that? Recover is a small amount of allies. SP can only be used if the party has no status effects. That was an interesting one. Wait, where the heck am I? I only moved like five feet and I'm getting lost. I didn't change her sword, did I? That was, uh, I'll not as fast as I thought it'd be. Leave it to me. All right, purify. Witness the light. Took you down. Oh. That one recovered right, a lot. Right, get to you. Hurry, look at that. Some. Well, let's play this anyway. Get back! Break it to pieces, yes! I'll see what I can do. Bye bye. On guard. It's still alive. We didn't be gambling yet. Good luck. Leave it to me. Going good. Going good. I win. My turn. But I bought bet all of my HP. Scanning. Was guarding. All right. Time. Witness the light. Oh, oh. Any stronger? 
Good thing this is a game that has the, you know, you get your uh, health and SP back on you. This'll do. Level up. Check this out. Ugh. Well, leveling stuff up is going okay so far, at least. Yeah. Is that one a star also? This one's a star. That's a star also. Like freeze there for a sec. <laughs> Check in me. I'll end it. Perfect. Chris doesn't go in as big of an arch, does it? Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh. Perfect. My turn. 
Oh, I still didn't do a lot there. Looks like it gets hurt a lot more by getting bounced off stuff. I wonder if that's just how the flying enemies work. can't get those ways. We probably have to progress the story to go those ways. Uh, I don't think I went to this bottom room yet. to get all the other skills. <laughs> Seems like it could be a little annoying. if it is? Question mark. That's fine. Okay, let's go with this way more. Oh yeah, so how much did she level up from that? They do get experience as long if they're in reserve. I don't know if they don't get it if they're not in reserve. Okay, there is nothing over here. Here I come! Sheena can kind of do all damage types, but it seems like I probably should have her be Sun, then someone else be Star, and then have someone for Moon, and I don't have anyone for Moon damage right now. I think the I think the, the girl with the great sword is the Moon damage one, right? So I'll have to uh, adjust to that. Star enemies left. You're a star enemy. Mid range star. Perfect. Eh, yeah. So long. You won't get away. Melt. Done. My turn. Canning. how these little guys are the ones that seem to be the hardest to kill only thing.
Oh yeah. We're not in trouble, are we? I was just saying, I should switch my character and I can do it. This puzzle one seems like the best one so far. <laughs> Some diva. Hey, oh, well. Here. Bring it to pieces. Here I go. Bye bye. We rock. Oh, the truth. How are you stronger? Definitely a good idea to train in. We're getting level ups pretty consistently, which means that we're probably pretty under level. <laughs> Make this the team for right now. Don't let your guard down, kids. Here I come. Ow! Hey, help me! Hey! Yeah! Bring it to me! All right, leave it to me. My turn. These things just have a set high uh, physical defense. Let's go. It seems like magic does more to them. Identifying enemies' weak points. Uh, you know what? You can use it. Puzzle installed. Look sharp. Leave it to me. Is this it? Is this it? An enemy? No. Let's be more good.
It's mostly this. All good. You got this in the bag. I got you now. This is the end. My turn. Definitely helps more. All right. The grinding session seems to be uh, helpful. Here I come. It seems like we're getting a bit of a release. I think it's probably a good idea that I'm doing though. <sighs> I do wonder if there's something I can find, like, in the game to tell me how to get certain skills, though. Because after a certain point, I'm not really sure if it unlocks new skills. I'm sure. are one that can kill the suns. I think I ever noticed that she used her spade and her legs to attack with that. <clears throat> I did not notice that. Puzzle installed. Look sharp. Sounds fun. Whatever. Whatever. And these things do not like to die a noble All death. Good. These things really do take the most damage from bouncing off walls. I really wish they had some ability to make walls yourself. I guess that's summoning monsters, but eh, I don't know. Hey, how's this? Huh. Ha. Right in the Something a little more blatant, maybe. It's over. I guess it's nice to have enemies that don't just like die instantly to everything. You gotta have some challenge in there. Am I getting stronger? 
stronger? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Well, for at least right now, I think I'll <laughs> go back to the real world. Hmm, I wonder if you can actually put their stuff up that much. They do tell you how much skills you have. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah, I haven't seen her mode yet. Her hair changes color. Wait. I guess her hair changes color too. I'm just kind of like trying to look at the differences, like the facial expression. He's all happy and sad. Their attacks all go good high. When she looks like this, she looks more like the guy's daughter. Except her hair is orangish still. It looked like it was brown for her real one. I guess she turns into a sadistic trick too. Even her chair changes, apparently. He just seems to turn into like a emotional psycho or something. I didn't know you could also uh zoom in and zoom out to actually see the different outputs. Well, that's neat to see, at least. Well, let's go, detective! It's time to detect things with our detectiveness. And... and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. The NPCs. It's Alicia. Alicia Clayton. We have a breaking news report detailing the disappearance of the popular foreign idol, Paul Aron. It was one year ago that she left her home to do a live taping of a local variety show, but she has yet to be seen since. Investigators have been working with both local and national law enforcement, but she has yet to be found. Her close friends and collaborators have claimed that she took her job very seriously, and that she would never abandon her career. At the time of her disappearance, Cole was considered to be at the height of her popularity, leading some to believe foul play is involved. It's still the top trending news article on Eggle's newsfeed. This Celestial Clayton looks just like this missing foreign idol. Wait, no. She doesn't just look alike. They're identical. Hmm. <clears throat> Water. <clears throat> In the concept documents, Celestia's uh, NPC model looks completely different. It's just like... Salal, Salee, Salee, whatever her name is, who looks like Detective Hizma's daughter. I did. Two examples is more than a coincidence. It's valid proof. Maybe those NPCs aren't AI. 
In fact, I believe they're humans that went missing in the real world, inhabiting these NPC characters. Simply put, they're just like Sheena. What if, just like Sheena, these people were put into the game somehow, and awoke not as playable characters, but as non-playable ones? It would explain how these NPCs are so expressive, expressive and lifelike. Not only that, games with the Alice engine require players to scan themselves with a white rabbit headset to import their avatar. If your avatar can render your exact appearance in-game, then it would align with my theory. <sighs> but at the end of the day, it's just a hypothesis. I were to try telling them about this, and then uh, breaking some functionality of the game, it could prevent the ending engage. I'll have to continue observing the other NPCs, watching carefully until I've gathered enough evidence. I need to watch Lily, Hal, and the other NPC girls as closely as I can to get a read of their true colors. If I can prove that Slee is, in fact, Detective Hizuma's missing daughter, then maybe he'd be able to use his authority as a detective to launch an investigation, thereby giving us a chance to find the missing girls. That man is someone I want on my side, intimidating as he may be. I felt it in my gut. Huh? That's Munakata. I told him that it was dangerous to come here, so I told him to stay at a hotel. Why the hell did he come back? I know! Huh? I know, I can see it in your eyes, Arda. I'm happy that you're worried about me, but man, I'm a man too. I, Natsu Munakata, can't just meander inside of a hotel in safety while you bust your ass. That's why I came back. Oh, that, so I didn't give you enough money? I paid you enough to cover a month's rent to use office. No, I can't accept that. Sure, I might have spent your money already, but my heart's in the right place. <laughs> Please, just let me stay here with you. I don't know what to say. I don't want to force the subject. Why don't I just get going then? No. I can't let that happen. If people are after you, then you can't stay at some joint like an internet calf. Stay here. You must. And I have to be here. Uh, okay, just be careful, would ya? Uh. Hey, Munakana, have you been able to do any digging on Eagle yet? Sorry, not yet. The bro team is working together again. Wait, that's all we had to do? The bro team just had to get back together? And now everything is this hunky-dory? Oh, uh, Arda. Arda. <laughs> the door's still blocked. Hmm. Maybe I needed to do that first to trigger some other event? Maybe I can, uh... Maybe I can do one, one of the girls' stories at the camp now. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't notice this. Was that way blocked off before, or did I just not... <laughs> Think about going <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention. Hmm. Question is, do I still keep fighting everyone for now? I feel like I do need levels, so I probably should. I want to get everyone, everyone to at least level me. 50. And then I can Just focus on get to getting to where I need to be. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Leave it to me. What's alive? Okay, the two little guys. Is that it? Yeah, I guess only the two little guys lived. What's that? Wow, I actually did a lot of damage to them too. Can I actually hit both of them if I do? Okay. 
good. This. I can hit both of them with just one thing. I can't hit both of them with the other step though. Oh. This one that? has more health. This one does. All good. And glitch, right? <laughs> These are the times where you, I wish you could use like a D-pad to yeah. center it better. Okay, it's still killed. Levels all around. Yeah! Attacking first. Our Are you? Turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I guess they just have them say attacking first, as long as you get the good encounter thing. Looks like these things are more effective with, <laughs> like you can hurt them more with magic. I think I gotta use magic on them to kill them right. easier. Purify. Yeah, look at that. That's doing like almost, well that's doing usually over 10,000 damage. Well, other girl was doing like 5,000 damage at most, the melee ones. So I guess you just have to use magic damage on them. Better the other girl's attack and magic attack is really low, and I didn't notice. What? We need to prepare for battle. Can you all get into a group? That would be helpful. What is it? What type is this? Some... You should be star. And I think this is star also? Yeah. Well... <laughs> Too big to move over more. Too big to fail. All good. Just leveling the plane again. This is the end. Heck yeah. Let's go! 
Eh, yeah, just trying to back up, that's not a big deal. Not go far either. <laughs> Just wait till I get to you. Hey, help me. There. This doesn't have very good defense, hey, though. Yeah. That's all. Let's go. Uh, I mean, I guess all just good. attack it normally. <laughs> that seems there. like it's more impressive than it is. The wall did more damage than she did. How did you kill it? I used the wall. Wait, Sorry. what? All right. Only two should be good. It's over. <sighs> One of them's level fifty. Almost there. Keep on leveling up. Just wait till I get to you. Yeah, I don't really don't like her. Hey, how's this? Man, that move does so much damage. Bye -bye. Take that. That's all. My turn. <laughs> well, it killed like everyone. What's that? All good. Ha! Yeah. Just so. This oh. is the end. <laughs> Let's go. I always love when it doesn't actually hit, so then it just like does that pathetic roll in the air. All right. Hey! Ah! Out of here! You ain't seen nothing yet. What? Not too shabby out there. <sighs> I think Al is just consistently my biggest damage. Hey, yeah. Does that make everyone level 50 now at least? Oh. Lily did die a few times when I was using her, so I guess it makes sense that she's so under level. Everyone important is mostly level 50. Both the range people aren't level 50. That's kind of funny. I think I am good. Going to the next area though now. Progressing the story a bit more. What's this? Uh. I find a page out of an old book. This could be another reality object. What is that? <laughs> Magic circles or something? Reality object? What's that? It's what I've decided to call things that should only exist in the real world. Ah, easy enough to remember. Wouldn't expect anything less from a programmer. Togawa said the exact same thing to me. Well, anyways, what is this thing? Perhaps a page from an ancient tome? Hard to tell what language these symbols are from. Greek, maybe? I can't read them. The impression I'm getting from the images on the page leads me to believe that the book could have been about alchemy. Alchemy? Is that the hokey uh, field of study people thought they could use to materialize gold? Yes, not just gold, the Philosopher's Stone too. It's popular in fantasy literature. I love it. 
You're absolutely certain that you hadn't intentionally placed this in the game, right? Yes, I'm sure of it. Ina, Sheena. Huh? Oh, yes, what is it? <clears throat> You've been staring at this thing without a word. I was beginning to worry. Oh, sorry, I was just mesmerized by it. I wonder what these symbols mean. You can't read it either, Sheena. I've seen these symbols before. Where could this book have come from? I haven't seen these before either. Doesn't look like an org or elven language. Oh, she said she hadn't. <laughs> Wait, what did I make her voice? <laughs> Don't remember. No. Uh, did I have her talk that much? I think she was only voice acting for a while. I really gotta gotta jot down fake accent thing, and then on the side, go like this character, this one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't read them either. The subject matter seems pretty dense. Why did your voice change? I don't know. <laughs> now on, previously reality objects had one thing in common. They're usually left out in the open, places that make them easy to find. Alright, why don't we take this with us for now? As I always say, unsolved mysteries are only a path toward discovery. Chop chop. Eh, it seems like that works well enough for him. Wow, a classic... Silesia uh, uh, Zinger. This is why she's such a legend. What's this? What's this? Huh? Oh, she's the one that has that ability. What's this? Huh? It's over. Huh. He's the one with the, uh, the glitch ability to pass through walls. It's for her, right? Staff designed for modern age. Increasing its wielder's magic power so she can remain seated. I mean, I think she was going to do that anyway. I see. But I'll equip it to her. Uh, I don't believe I went to this room yet, right? Yeah, I figured there was another treasure chest. Flag! Oh, it was a battle. Ready for battle. Here I, I usually come. don't get flags that are battles. What's with the configuration of the bugs? Hurry! Look inside! No recovery inflicted. This seems weird. This seems too easy. What is it? Well, uh. Hey, how's this? There. Get back. There. Let's kill it. That was a strange flag to encounter. Unless the enemy somehow hit me and I didn't notice. Sides that way. The do quite Wait, I, I said that wrong. The upsides outweigh the downsides. 
I know how to speak words sometimes. I guess that was just to get the key for the area. So we can go in through that big door. You wanna stop breathing? Actually, I can probably go- yeah, I can. We'll, uh, we'll at least get back to the camp first and see if we can progress, and if we can't, then go back. Something wrong, Mizushina? Mizushina. Mizunashi. I don't know how I was saying that. Mizunashi is that what it is? Ugh. I'll get the names right at some point. <clears throat> Where'd that come from? I don't recall acting in any way that seemed worrisome. Well, it just seems like you've been acting a bit strange. There Sheena goes. She's got some test knack for seeing right through people. I told you, nothing's wrong. That's not true at all. I might look different, but I've been working with you long enough to know when something's up. How could I possibly worry Sheena more? Okay, fine. Then I'll speak first. Huh? I've been putting the pieces together, and it got me thinking. I feel like it won't be simple task to get my mind out of this world. There has to be more to it. What makes you say that? I can't put my finger on it, but it won't be the kind of situation where all we need to do we, all we need is a business card to exchange pleasantries. Call it a hunch, but I feel like there has to be some kind of larger conspiracy at play. It feels hard to pin down any experience other than playing this game. I know it's related to my memory. To a memory of my past self, but I just can't recall. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been babbling again. Haven't I? I really messed things up. Basically, all I wanted to say is relax a little bit, senpai. Please don't bottle up all your feelings. We're partners, right? I want us to tackle what's stressing you out as a team. You're so... Imagine a cold sensation on your neck. I'm touching a soft drink to your neck. Your turn. <laughs> Ver, that's freezing, Sheena. Your turn. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's trying her best not to let her anxieties get the better of her. But here she is, cheering up her friend. Uh-oh. Oh no, they don't let me save it here. Joke back, respond seriously. Joke back. Okay, thanks. I still think you're worrying too much, though. I mean, I take care of myself when I can, so don't think I'm being negligent to my health, as you might expect. If push comes to so shove, I might just have to leave you behind and run for it myself. That's so... I know, you never do that. Who knows? Anyway, we should get back to the rest of the group. I guess I can let you off the hook for today, since we've had a breakthrough and all. From now on, though, promise me that you won't put too much pressure on yourself. Here. Swear on it. You're making me pinky swear? Come on, we aren't kids. Mizunashi? Okay, okay. Here. I promise. <laughs> I, I just want to see, like, bad end, like, eight or something registered because... How might I... Right. It's my simple actions. <laughs> See you around. Oh wait, where can I go next then? The only thing I could go to is the door, but it's not letting me use the goddess key that I picked up. So that means we have to go back to reality. Or I missed something, obvious. Serious music. <laughs> One page from an ancient tome. 
the hell am I supposed to figure out with search from this alone? Is this some... is this a new reality object? Yeah, I bet you anything that the next keyword that disappears online will be related to this. You called them truth fragments, right? I recall you telling me that they contain strings of code that you used to fix World's Odyssey. Right. By the way, Arda, uh, do you think this is something you should get involved with? Like, do you think you could really fix everything? Huh? Maybe a more flexible approach is needed. Our goal is to guide Sheena in clearing the game to initiate the ending gauge. You don't have to remove all the bugs as long as you get her out. Then you win. I think some things are better left unknown. Um, I guess, but what if Sheena gets to the final boss and encounters a bug that completely stops her progression? What do you propose then? There are people who've died in this game. You have no room for failure. Even if it means trial and error, all I can do is try. Of course, right? I know, it's just that... I didn't want you to feel like you have to shoulder the entirety of this burden on your own. I know. I can see you're just looking out for me. I'm just lashing out at you. Aren't I? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Don't worry. I'm gonna try walking over to Eagle's office once we know more. If they aren't going to answer my calls, then they'll just have to deal with us in person. Okay. Security there is pretty tight, so there's a chance they could turn us away at the gate. Oh, look, the news is starting. Good evening. Thank you for joining our evening broadcast. Our station has obtained more news on the cyber attacks occurring worldwide. Suspicions have intensified regarding the relationship between the attacks and the CEO of the software company known as Enigma. Wiener. <laughs> Warner? <laughs> Werner? Werner. No, it's Wiener. <laughs> Werner Glock, the company's CEO, has been issued an arrest warrant on charges of illegal electromagnetic record recreation. What? Oh, come on, really? That's bull. Additionally, some of our, their high-level employees have been implicated, namely Arda Mizunashi, age 27, Sumika Togawa, Tokiwa, age 25, Lydia Nolan, age 22, and Rin Azu, Azukaza, Kazi, Kaza, I don't know, age 32, have been named as suspects. A suspect? I was shocked to see that our CEO and Toko Tokoa were issued arrest warrants, but seeing myself included on the suspects list was so shocking. I felt sick to my stomach. A disorienting kind of dread one might feel as their foot misses a step in the dark. Furthermore, Japan's branch of Eagle Inc. has issued a statement following the surrender of access records transmitted by Enigma. Eagle? Yes? Mizunashi, is that you? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what did I do for him again? I don't know, I think I was just doing this. Mizunashi, is that you? Detective Hizuma? What's going on? Mind telling me why you've got a warrant out for your arrest? You're asking me? I don't know what the protocol for this is. Our department hasn't even submitted the paperwork for this case yet. All of a sudden this happens. These orders are coming from the top brass. No time was spared for formalities. This level of expected expedition is unprecedented in Mizunashi. Whoever you're opposing might be bigger than we could have imagined. Mr. Hizuma, now that things have escalated, am I... Yep, you're on our most wanted list. Don't get yourself arrested. If you end up in custody, the police won't show you any mercy. As of now, we can no longer be in contact. Later. Meaning I won't be able to th ask for his help? Wait, there's one thing I need to tell you. It's about your missing daughter. Hi, Day. What? There's a girl inside of World Odyssey that I presume to be Kaide. If I'm arrested, I want you to contact my colleagues and work with them to rescue Sheena. Nima Mooney. <laughs> Nina. <laughs> I can't say her last name over. All of these names that I can't pronounce correctly. Nino Mia. Nino Mia. Yeah. And the rest of the other players. Please save them. 
Entering the game requires players to be in full dive, which means they enter fully unconscious. I'm certain the game's running on Eggle's server. They'll know exactly where everyone's bodies are being held. I can't tell you why or for what purpose, but these girls were abducted and forced to play this game. But someone has to save them, right? Hm. You don't know when to shut up. Damn it, then what the hell am I supposed to do? I have no more allies. Um, hello? What about me? Can I trust you to stick by me? To the public? To the public, I've been branded as a criminal. Oh, yeah. Say I don't recall them mentioning me as having a warrant out for my arrest, huh? I need to leave this place. I can't cause you any more trouble. With everything going on, are Toko and Lydia and the others all right? Force them out, but maybe that was all for nothing. Whoa! Oh, shit, have the cops already figured out where you are? Damn it, that can't be. And blam, blam, no. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Uh, it's probably fine, right? Say for no reason. <laughs> Before I felt the tingle of panic from not looking, uh, from not locking the front entrance, uh, the door swung open, and from behind it appeared Lydia's face. Mmm, did you see the news, the news, Arda? Lydia? Why don't you come- why'd you come back here? I specifically told you not to come back. What was I supposed to do? I'm wanted. Right after Lydia, another face popped out from her sh behind her shoulders. Tekla, not you too. Well, it appears as though there's nowhere else to run. Another small face appeared behind them. <laughs> Lydia, Tokua, Rin too. I couldn't figure out why all of them had such had huge smiles on their faces. Zuka, uh, Asukazi, uh, Kaza, Kazi, um, um, has returned. Mm, until the binocle's over, I won't leave this place. What do you mean? <laughs> Thank God, sh there's a shower here. What? Munakata, you're not on the most wanted list, so go out and buy some food. We can't go outside. It, sure thing. Uh, anyone want beverages, too? Tokuan and the others seem unfazed by the disheartening news that we are wanted. In fact, it only seemed to empower them. I scratched my head inquisitively. Rin flashed a calm smile at me before whispering in my ears. Mizunashi, you don't have to fight alone. The CEO wanted me to tell you that. He did? Yes, he relayed a message to me that he will continue to remain in hiding while investigating Angle's affairs. In the meantime, it would be best for us to stick together and see this through to the end. We're on your side. Ellipses in his thoughts, also. Maybe I had been too cocky. Couldn't be at, I couldn't do everything on my own. It was never my intention. I was being pulled by a sense of justice, a longing to discover the truth. Now, however, I realize the error of my ways. Our mysterious enemy is looming ahead, beginning to chisel us down bit by bit. But Rin and the CEO were right. There are still people I could lean back on. Arida, hey, Arida, are you crying? <laughs> Wait, hold the thought. Duh, duh. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not. No, it's fine. <laughs> Despite her youthful good looks, Rin is wiser than all of us can find. Must have struck a nerve, huh? Shut up. What next, then? Now that you're all wanted, we can't just waltz into Eagle and then report you followed by a nice, speedy arrest. It's true, our current predicament has complicated our original plan. But why don't we work together? 
to devise a better one. So, what are you looking up? <laughs> Crybaby Arda. What's this, some ancient text? Oh, this is straight out of an alchemy book. What? Wait, can you tell just by looking at it? Jeez, way to underestimate Miss Simika. <laughs> An avid 24-7 browser of Osaka. O Osa Kasa. Osa Kasa. Osa Kasa, an online forum where fans of the occult discuss theories and conspiracies. Are you serious? You're trying to fight some occult entity without an expert on your side? You're dumb. Really dumb. Come on, let's hit the library. You want to find truth fragments, don't you? I have a hunch on what's in what the next one might be. Dokuan yanked me up, dragging me by the arm to pull me outside. Hey, it's too dangerous to go outside. We just need to disguise us so the police won't recognize us. Here's a mask, a hat, sunglasses. You, where'd you find time to prepare all this stuff? I stopped by the discount shop with Lydia. What do you say? Come on. Uh, what do you say? It comes in handy, right? You gotta trust us to help you more. Okay, fine. I'll start learning how to trust everyone more. If danger rears its ugly head, then I promise to do whatever it takes to keep my friends safe. I ordered this vow to myself internally. Uh, so if it's in Greek, that means it hasn't been translated yet. So that means it's in this section. Sagami Public Library, one of the biggest and most comprehensive libraries in the city, its extent of history makes it a local landmark. Portions of the building have been recently renovated, which now include a reading area, a calf, public computers, and an event space. For voracious readers, this library is known quilly as the oasis of the city. Normally, I wouldn't have set foot inside here, but Tokwa walked in as though she owned a place. When she reached the front floor, I found a book titled Ancient Alchemy, Hermes Script. Alchemy? Huh. I only know about it from what I learned at anime. Does it really exist? <laughs> well, some people think it's nothing more than Hocus Pocus coined by con artists and that changing iron to gold was an improved hoax. But in actuality, it was a field that encouraged the practice of repetition and experimentation. It follows the scientific method, sometimes. The gist is that one must consider metals, like iron, as living organisms, in order to change it into gold, you must extract all of its impurities. Some occultist schools of thought corroborate alchemy as a valid practice. Really? You're telling me it isn't completely bogus then? Well, it's been historically practiced in secret, given to the philosophical underpinnings, uh, pinings, pinings or pinnings. So I don't blame you for your skepticism. Now this is even more far out, but there's said to be a secret art that can materialize life from essentially nothing. There are secret societies that claim they can create God and use it to assume control of the world. Many copycat groups appear too. Secret societies, huh? So, um, the page you found inside Odyssea, Arda. Here it is. Look, they're identical. Does that mean this is an expert from the book? Hey, wait, this is... Hmm? Inside Hermes' script, there was a sticky note. On it was a sentence that was scribed in pen. I had to squint to read it. These letters, I think it's a truth fragment. Yeah, no doubt about it. Isn't this the first time we found them handwritten, though? But who would? Hey, wait a minute. This handwriting... Isn't it mine? Seriously? You're right, it's just as crappy as and illegible as yours. What the hell are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, fine now. But well, this has to be my handwriting, it's just... I I know for a fact I didn't write this. Judging by your hysterical reaction, I believe you. I got my library card on me, so why don't we check out this book? Yes, let's... Let's... Alright, let's head back. Wouldn't it be stupid for her to use her library card? If they're wanted by the police, wouldn't they just go like, she used her library card recently. We know she's still in the area. She didn't run away. 
Wouldn't, wouldn't that happen? If she's on the most wanted list, wouldn't they be tracking anything that they could have some sort of digital footprint from? So wait, are we going back to the doppelganger thing? Like, he's actively in two places at once? So that means there's either actually two of them, and there's time travel stuff of it, or something else, or something perfectly replicated has writing. I would know my own handwriting better than anyone else, so I could tell immediately. It felt gross. Like the time when I ran after my doppelganger and saw my other self at the side, at a side glass. I felt my stomach curl. Whoever it was went ahead of me to the library, found the alchemy book, and scribbled it inside. But who would do that? Hey, Tokawa. The sticky note is creepy, but I want to go back to what you mentioned about secret societies. Hmm? Erza stopped working on my cell phone. Huh? What does Erza have to do with anything? The other day, Munikata went on a tired, tired, tired. I know what the word means, but I don't understand that. Tired. Going on about conspiracy theory about how Eagle's search engines are absorbing information. When I asked Erza about it offhand, the software started threatening me before cackling and shutting off. Are you for real? That's terrifying. The thing that's bothering me is when it began threatening me. It asked me, where is Iris? And yesterday, when those sick rabbit bastards abducted me, they told me they'd kill me if I refused to hand over Iris. Both of them mentioned Iris? Yeah, you know how Iris came bundled with any of Agle's mobile devices? Couldn't we say that they and these rabbit people are connected? So Agle and the secret society are in cahoots, huh? Creepy. What's all this about Iris, uh, uh, Iris then? Let's get together with everyone and figure out our next plan of attack. If we figure out whatever Iris is, then there's a chance we can use it. Yeah, let's do this. When we get kidnapped again. Oh. oh, we can still talk more. I mean, might as well. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. You want to ask me something? That's rare. When the two of us get hired, we started out in the same position, but you shot up way faster than me. Well, the two of us had different mentors, so that might have factored into it. If you say so. Anyhow, what is it you wanted to ask? Oh yeah, you studied ancient languages before, haven't you? I might have come across one or two in my time, yes. You see, I've been re researching some in my free time recently, but there's something I can't quite figure out. I had to take a look, but what's the sudden interest in ancient language? Our CEO's orders. I see, so you got an assignment directly from the CEO, huh? Here, scoot over so I can see our monitor. And CEO, this, huh. Let me use your keyboard, so this must mean... Ugh. Oh, I see. Wait, how are you so fluent in ancient languages? They're dead for a reason, right? It's called a hobby, duh. Oh, got it. I bet you're anything. <laughs> I bet you anything. It's because your weird obsession with the occult. <laughs> Who asked you? Anyways, is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Oh, well, I. Huh? Attempt to leave discreetly. Ask her to leave. Attempt to leave discreetly. Die. Right, from this angle, I can see Tokoas cleavage. I'm just going to act naturally and back up. Something wrong? Oh, nothing. Come closer then, doofus. If you're all the way back there, you can't see the screen, right? It's, it's kind of weird that he would be 
Like, I wonder if people in Japan just, like, act like that culturally or not. Because I feel like, you know, a lot of girls, like, purposely put their cleavage in front, you know? So I feel like this wouldn't really matter to, to a lot of women. <laughs> I guess it could be a respect thing, because if you're staring directly at them. Mm, I don't know. Alright. Uh, you're still pretty far away. Do I smell or something? No, that wasn't it. Huh? I guess I have no choice but to tell her. It was very visible. Your cleavage, I mean. <laughs> What? Why the hell are you even looking down there? <laughs> I'm trying to teach you something, not show you a good time. Don't blame me, it's not like I wanted to look. Oh, what, so now <laughs> you're too good for me? <laughs> what do you want from me, woman? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind if it's you. You liar. I guess that had no consequence to us. Oh no, I can't load. What's this? I still can't leave either. Hmm. Do you think there's a secret wall that I missed? Oh yeah, maybe the uh, the pathway that was blocked off with corruption is open now. I didn't think about that. Yeah, this is the one that was corrupted. We can go through it now. Because we got the code. I almost forgot about it. Ugh, I wish we had an auto battle. Just wait till I get to you. Persona spoiled me, along with other RPGs. but it used a lot of SP. Scanning. What type was the fish again? Fish is some. I'll see what I can do. 
gun for a gun girl. Not very good for her. She's better with magic attack. Uh, I kind of wish you could turn off the heavy breathing for her. You can avoid that. events around here. Is what the goddess key was for? I guess I can only open it from the other side. We need a key. You don't need a key. You want a key. I guess this is the key. Anytime. Perfect for Just wait till I get to you. I got to you. I did it. Are you scared? Hey, how I got you. Go! Bye -bye. That's gonna all. Try. to stop for five seconds. Okay, that's fine. I found another one of those old pages on the floor. Here, Sheena, take it. Thanks, Al. Another alchemy page. Suspicious. More of those foreign symbols. You think there's a way to use a decipher? Uh, you think there's a way for us to decipher what they mean? Are you that curious? Of course I am. Ancient items fetch a high price on the market. We gotta know what we're working with. Even if we can't translate them, I advertise the pages as remnants of lost civilization. We won't have to worry about money for months. Oh, silly. One's a peddler, always a peddler. Um, who gave you permission to sell it? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Mizunashi, do you think this page belongs to the same book as the page we found earlier? Hmm. Mysteries tickle the curiosity of any adventurer. 
That way. <laughs> Wrong person. <laughs> I'll blame my dyslexia for both the C names in front of me. They both have C, L, and A also. And E. They're too close together. Mysteries tickle the curiosity of any adventurer. But if it can't be read, then what can we do? <laughs> hmm. It looks so similar to the previous page. We found. It appears as though someone wrote math problems here now. Huh, math problems? Chino, would you mind giving me a closer look? <clears throat> I mean, if it's math, he probably would be able to figure something out with it, right? <clears throat> Lily, Miss Alicia, can I see the page? Sure, here. Why is Sheena showing Enigma that piece of paper? Does she think he can read it or something? This is... Can you decipher it? Take a look at this part. Huh? This string of text, it looks familiar. Oh, is it a line of code? Yeah, and to top it off, if you punch this string of letters into World Odyssey, source code, it begins to get rid of the bugs. What? How does that work? How would the game's source code appear inside of the ancient book? It's me, but it's true. The bugs are vanishing. I've got just as many questions as you. Wanna know how I fixed the cracks in the ground? And remove the bugged areas from previous dungeons? Strings of code like this. I've amassed a handful of strings of code from reality objects I found. As a result, search results related to the objects vanished too. Wow. You don't understand why though, do you? Me either. This is the first time, however, that the string of letters has appeared inside of the game. And if I take a closer look at this page, there's more than one. There's a bunch of them. I should read through this more carefully. Alright, you guys keep going. Got it. Jeez, one thing after the next. <laughs> Enigma, come. Huh? Come. She want me to sit on her lap? Here I go. Um, what's the matter, Lucio? <laughs> Enigma, you're a good boy. I wish to pet you. Huh? Oh, uh, what? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, how precious. It's not fair that Enigma gets all the petting. Save some for the rest of us, Enigma. Interesting. <laughs> Being jealous, Al. I'll pet you then, here. Oh, wow, I, I'm not worthy. <laughs> Enigma, you seem upset, so I wanted to pet you. But, oh. <laughs> if even the NPCs are starting to notice. No, snap out of it. I'm not pathetic. They're just remarkably lifelike. Thanks, I feel much better now. Okay, hang in there, Mr. Enigma. For sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I hate to leave you guys again, but I need to take care of something. Catch up with you later, so go on ahead without me. Huh? Got it. See you later. Mr. Enigma. Hmm? Um, next time, can I pet you too? Later. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he was in a hurry. <clears throat> oh, brother. Does that qualify as rejection? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh boy. Why didn't that count as a bad encounter? Just wait till I get to you. I guess I don't really care, but. Oh, oh, hey, that was the wrong move. Go! That was my fault. Right? Let's go. <laughs> this is why you're supposed to read. Uh. 
Confirmed bounces. Getting bouncy. Very bouncy. Look at that guy. Puzzle and solve. Look sharp. Doesn't seem too tricky. <clears throat> Refill my water really quick. Refill my water while playing the video game. This is tough. Did I hit them both? I got no, this thing is right here still. This is tough! Yeah, cool. Sheena counts as a wall. That's funny. This is tough! Made it through somehow. Guess it's all over. <laughs> oh, there's another one still. Or did it just move back to the place that it originally was? Well, uh, it does more damage to the wall. Identifying enemies' weak points! Well, we definitely keep getting more experience. Let's end it. And then now goes. Turn. How did I know? <laughs> I think this is close now. Hey, how's this? Yeah. Hey, It'll be the first time I didn't obliterate these enemies in one turn. Just because that guy yeah, and the other frogs are yeah. close enough. I mean, I guess it's technically one turn, so if I still kill it now. Any idea what it is? All good. Eh, why not? <laughs> good to go! Leave it to me! I haven't used this, so Done. might as well. seen her glitch move yet, so neat. Really having us jump back and forth between reality and Odyssey right now. We haven't had a dungeon that made us go back and forth so much.
It appeared that the latest reality object we found in Sign World's Odyssey, the ripped page, had a continuation. The first page we discovered was a, from a book known as Hermes Script. Upon opening it, we found a sticky note taped to the original page. On that note was, on that note was one of the truth fragments, a mysterious string of letters that fixed bugs inside of World's Odyssey. It was handwritten. This time, though, the next page was... Here you go. Wow, stop staring at me, would you? Start at me. Well, the best way to cool down is to chill the hairs on the back of your neck. Here, coffee. Thanks. Wait, you're gonna cool me down with coffee? It's iced coffee. Oh. Arda, I've got an update. Supposedly, it's a... Uh, I stopped working on devices worldwide. Apparently there was some kind of mass malfunction. Not suspicious. Oh, really? Maybe because it went haywire on you, it went totally berserk. Ooh, freaky. But I wonder what this Iris thing is everyone wants so badly. Yeah, neither Rin nor Lydia nor anyone else really has any idea what it might be. Then I can't help but think the most important piece to the puzzle is whatever is in the email that Sheena sent, I guess I could ask. Yeah, by the way, how's the book coming along? Got any juicy hints yet? Yeah, but there's something odd. Take a look. Look at the truth fragments we found so far. I've saved every string of letters as the screenshots on my phone. See? Look at the second ripped page. This part. Isn't this the same as the first truth fragment? You're right, but how? Well, check this out. A second page, third page, and fourth page. Yamabushi Park. Saaki Apartment Murders. Cattle Mutilation. Farfrot Sky. Phenomenon. And Doppelganger. Apart from the handwritten sticky note, all the previous truth fragments we'd found, were compiled in this book, organized chronologically. What does that mean? Are you saying that the strings of letters were brought to the real world in succession of when we found them? Or it could be the other way around. Whoever wrote this book could have gathered all of the truth fragments and archived them in here. Someone from the game has seen like someone is observing our world from inside theirs. I know I sound insane. Man, this has got my head all tangled. No, I don't think you sound insane at all. I mean, it suggests that there are NPCs who could be humans just like Sheena, right? It would make sense that there could be some alchemist NPC in the side of the game who's really a human, wouldn't it? You believe me, then? Of course, at this point, where do we even begin to draw the boundary between World's Odyssey and our world? Well said. Codes aren't really doing anything. <laughs> Raw main game main debug. You think they programmed it in Unity? They're using uh, C sharp at least. If they're using those kind of commands, or at least it looks like she's in C sharp. <laughs> Anyways, door open. Let's go. Nope. What? <laughs> what was the weird thing Bring I had on. over my head? Let's go. Oh, 
good. I kind of wanted them to group up, so... Oh, I'll cross the line there, whatever. Here I come! Uh... I guess I'll take out these two. You know what, just for that, I'm not gonna do any mercy. All right. No mercy. Witness the light! Purify! Blast off! Oh. Leave All right, it to keep me. going! All good. Thing always has more health than Wait I think it does. No, oh, it only had six thousand left. Hey, how's this? Yeah. Bye bye. Get out of here. It's over. Ain't no man. Am I cut stronger? Huh. Did that change, or is it based on distance? I feel like I just noticed something that I didn't before. It looked like they're all using their, their glitch stuff, their Entoma thing, a lot more than they used to. What's this? What's this? Which is strange. Because they weren't using it to attack before. So did I just miss something? Why can I not open that door still? Oh. That's why I saw that. No, you're not, Alice. Your turn. <laughs> this weapon looks so normal. Hope this 
works. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> like how I have all these like creative weapons, and so now I get like normal generic sword. It's like when you ha like keep the the training sword in some RPGs that you get like when you start the game, and if you keep it until the very end of the game, then you can make it the most ultimate powerful sword. And something like that in Dragon Quest, I know. They did it in a lot of those, I'm pretty sure. At least they did it in one of them. I don't know other games that might have done that. <laughs> I'm guessing we're gonna have a burst battle now. Burst battle. This is the wrong way. But we can still have a burst battle. <laughs> Wanna go the right way. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I'm going all out! Here I come! It's like I might as well fight them if I get into the battle. But I don't want to do it. Also, I think I saw that the game has like 11 chapters or something. And it looks like it has like 8 different endings or something for like all of the girls in the game. I'm guessing to get together with Arida. Or to get together with Sheena, I think. Lily definitely gets together with Sheena. I think. Unless all of those endings are like them dying <laughs> or something weird like that, which could be possible. All good. Go. Why? Ready for battle. Let's go. Puzzle it. Puzzle installed. Look sharp. Leave it to me. Looks like we might have actually hit the wall for our level. Open the door first, right? Don't want to be rude. Can you like stop hyperventilating for like a second? How might I? Right. Just a second, Sheena. You called for me. Take a gander at the goods on display. I definitely got a lot more money from just doing that a few times. Is this a thank you? How much? See you around. Buy one more of each. 
I think some people did not have ones equipped. My Arun appears resistance to skills. I've made my choice. This is nice. Oh wait, I didn't want that. I want. I've that. made my choice. Seems fine. I guess it's pretty easy to get money in this game if you actually, you know, fight enemies. <laughs> I've been avo avoiding enemies too much, I think. I guess this is the terminal. Terminal velocity. You think they're gonna do something weird where they come into the real world as their characters? And like reality and the digital world converge into one? Because I'm trying to think of how they're going to make these chapters last. Unless they're just going to have, like, a rush of chapters at some point. Or have us backtrack. But I don't really see right now. I feel like the story is kind of progressing pretty quickly, all things considered. <clears throat> yeah, made it at last. So, this is the deepest part of Sinethus Temple. Wow, working with a party really is a treat. I doubt I would have been able to make it here on my own. As I always say, there's no I in theme. Another Slain Soul Zinger. Y you're welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> Isn't helping one another just dandy? You ladies are so strong. Well, these times call for survival of the fittest. So, is this the terminal? It's different how I imagined it. I expected it to be bigger, with a gate or a doorman or something. Can't say it isn't. Well crafted, though. Whoever sculpted it really did a fine job. I was going a bit too into the owl voice with that one. My bad. <laughs> Not that it matters, I don't really need to be consistent, but I do anyway. The arrangements of the three orbs at the center are quite tasteful. I do enjoy a good pattern. Oh, but one of the orbs it looks cracked. It might have taken us longer than we would have helped, but at least we're here, right, Sheena? Right. I'm so relieved. Sheena? I can't help but feel like something's amiss. Sorry for the wait. But, Mr. Enigma, have you finished attending to your business? Well, sort of. Anyway, do you think it's possible for you to access the terminal? If everything is that as it seems, then I don't see why not. Are you familiar with how it works, Gina? Um, hey everyone. Let's start by gathering around the stone pillar. I can't wait to see the mystical sky capital Odyssea for myself. Breathe. Breathe. Sniffle. I think I'm gonna pee my pants. Why, why is that your thing? I have no idea. Oh, it, Al. Adventurers conquer any hardships ahead of them. That includes waiting until they find, we find the privy. That means toil. That makes no sense. I'll, I'll start the terminal. Not starting. Huh? Nothing is hap- Nothing is happening. What? That can't be. Mizunashi. I'm looking into it right now. Hold on. 
Looks like this area's got some bugs too. Explain why the terminal isn't working. What? That's not good. How quickly do you think we can fix it? If only it were that easy, well uh Nope, that's not it. What about this? Damn it, that didn't work either. I know, how about using the lines of code that we found on those pages from the alchemy book? We've used that code already. Gina, watch out! There's some other line of code right there. An Entoma Queen? Are you sure? Yes, I can feel its aura. How the hell did it fit inside of here? Oh, what? what? What is that thing? I wouldn't kiss my mother with that mouth. Uh, I don't want to puke. It looks like it's beating heart. Watch it pulse. Can it down there. You're gonna make me hurl too. Hey, how many legs do you, does this thing have? Should I start lopping them off? If we want to stop it, if we want it to stop scuttling, then that would be our best course of action. And do you think the Entoma Queen is why the terminal isn't working? Judging from what we've seen previously, that's it. It also explains all the bugs in the area. At least it, at least it came to us this time. It's horrible. Just looking at it makes my stomach turn. No time to whine. Come on, take it down. Yuck. Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm just thinking if I would want to actually switch to Don't look so nervous, gang. I can switch in the middle Here of the I battle come. if I really need to. What is it? How much help does it have this time? 300,000. Ooh. Weak to moon it. She's sun, I'm pretty sure, right? Pretty sure she did sun anyways. Right, we can't get our other moon. Hey, Thinking about it. Hmm, it kinda looks like an eye. The formation of the young. Well, let's just attack it again. Hey, how's this? Boom! Takes damage, okay. Bye -bye. Doesn't get pushed back very far though. Still let's got go. the fight in me. And it killed me in one hit. Hmm. Well, I didn't expect that. That was pretty Let's good damage. <laughs> <Canning. laughs> yeah, I did like a hundred thousand damage with her. Okay, I mean we were fine. That, that it did hurt Al a lot, but uh, maybe we're okay. I guess I'll just power up Sheena and uh Alright. Come on, let's go! I've got your come on, let's go! Al. I'm back! Not Here too shabby out there. Side of it. Uh, I need her to have more SP.
I mean... I guess. I guess I can do that. All good. It seemed to work pretty well last time. Honestly, there's more damage though. Yes, kind of. Leave worked. it to me. All right, leave it to me. Who am I leaving it to? I don't know. I have to remember these can't actually kill me. Thousand health left. Uh. All right. Purify. Ah. All right. Oh, oh, look at some help. Fourteen percent of two hundred and something. Ah. Didn't kill. Good enough. All good. you up a lot. <clears throat> what memory are you going to get this time, though? <clears throat> what? What's the matter? It's terrible that Sheena experiences agony when she defeats one of the Antona Queens for the sake of her memories. Hang in there, Sheena. Uh, uh. Sheena. Stay strong, Sheena. <clears throat> Silly, what's gone over Sheena? Sheena's been slowly recovering her memories of last year. I can't explain how it happens, but whenever she destroys one of the Entoma Queens, like the one we just encountered, the bugs plaguing this world, and even some of the corruption in our... our world. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Is that a typo, or... Is that... The bugs plaguing this world, and even some of the corruption in our world? What is that... Or, or do they or they just mean like and also the corruption in, in our world 
But she said this world and then our world, and that makes me think it's... Uh, maybe it was just a weird, a weird way of saying it. Or maybe I'm reading into it too much. However, it puts strain on her body. The nausea is no joke. She won't die, though, right? Will she be okay? She's suffering a lot of pain, but there's nothing else we can do but watch. Or Sheena. Uh, uh, hey, Sheena? Hmm? What is it? Read me a book! What? Not again. Okay, I guess. Yay! Oh. Is this Iris? The mad cards all charge towards Alice. Oh great, more Alice in Wonderland references. Surprised, Alice screamed, ah, and closed her eyes. Then, something soft grazed Alice's cheek. She slowly opened her eyes, and there she saw her sister wiping away the leaves that had fallen on her. Alice then fell asleep on her sister's lap. As she awoke from her nap, she had found that she had returned from Wonderland back to reality. She couldn't wait to tell her sister all she'd seen. The end. Aw, she's asleep. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Sheena, you're awake. Everything is okay. Uh, I'm sorry. That happened again. No need to apologize. You're the one who's enduring all this pain, Sheena. I was right. It's touching for you to think about our sake, but you must take care of yourself first. As the pain subsided, if you need time to rest, feel free to let us know. Here's water. Sheena. You guys, thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. Just don't push yourself, okay? If you're ever feeling unwell, let us know immediately. Okay, got it. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm just lucky to have such kind friends. So what'd you see this time? Um, there was a little girl. Little girl? Yes. The memory felt peaceful and carefree. I think the girl and I were living together. Living together, huh? Well, at least it doesn't sound as traumatic as your last dream. I wonder what kind of relationship I had with her. I guess the answer to that question will come with time as you uncover more memories. Seems like it. Then... We'll just have to keep going. Still feeling up to it? Yes. Alright then. Try activating the terminal again. By defeating the Entoma Queen, all the corruption in this region should be slowly disappearing. Alright, here we go. What's going on? This time the terminal works, but we didn't get teleported anywhere. Odd. I wonder what's wrong. Um, there's a teeny crack in the central orb. Do you think that might be the cause? Huh? Oh, you're right. There, the terminal stone is cracked. We won't be able to use it otherwise. What? Why... Why won't it work? The terminal requires massive amount of magical energy. It might be because someone had already used it, which caused the stone to crack. Seriously, we came all this way. If we can find another terminal stone that's undamaged, then we'll be able to reactivate it. There's still hope. I see. Well, it's a mystery to me. How do you know so much about it, Sheena? Huh? Oh, um, Mr. Enigma taught me about them. Right, Mr. Enigma? Yeah. I use my fast travel ability to team as much information as possible. Alright. <laughs> it's simple, then. We'll look at a new terminal stone, then we can teleport out of here, right? 
Yes, that would be the case. There might be a terminal stone in either Azaria Forest, Tardis Palace, or even Red Out Ruins. Man, she's so... she's so knowledgeable. Silly's giving da daggers with her eyes. I can return back to the forest. And I, too, to the palace. Yes, though it may delay our arrival to Odyssea. Well, when there might be a quicker way. What? Tell us more, Enigma. Uh, is that your way of asking for favors? Stop playing hard to get. Or it's Eddie Bear, you're a real brat, you know. What? <laughs> I'm not playing hard to get. You want a piece of me? What'd you say? <laughs> gotcha, Bear. <laughs> tell us, tell us. What are you? Hey, don't pick me up. You're not allowed to touch me. Hmm, you know, up close, you're pretty cute. So chubby. Get your hands off me. Hey, what are you doing? Get away. <coughs> what? Why? Uh, uh, why? Can't I hug it? You just can't. Get away from him. <laughs> you know, she does it also. Sally, cut it out. Mr. Enigma is uncomfortable. Well, well, we won't know as we ask him ourselves, will we? Hey, are you uncomfortable? Yes, I am. I thought I made that abundantly clear. She thinks I'm just a stuffed toy, but I can feel her press her massive chest on me. So, is he using the virtual reality thing then when he goes into here? Because I feel like you didn't explain that part. But I guess he's using the headset when he goes in. Cut it out, you three. We're trying to have a conversation over here. Well, where were you? Oh yeah, the dimensional rift. That opening in the ground that transported you from Rosaria to here. Don't you think there still might be more of those located on the edge of the coast? Come to think of it, when we were sailing towards the temple on Celestia's boat, I thought I saw some kind of glowing opening on the shoreline. This phenomenon, generally put, is classified as a coordinate bug. If we can learn how to control its application, then we can use it to fast travel. Is that really possible? Leave it to me. I just need to examine its coding. Let's head back to where the rift is. Oh, there it is. Mr. Enigma, that rift is a bug though, isn't it? Is it really safe to go inside? I think it'll work out. That pause doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. <laughs> How would she know what a camera is? <laughs> What's that about? Is it a prank? Are we on camera or something? No, that crack in the rift is a space is no prank. <laughs> Ooh. It smells like danger. In other words, my heart just skipped a beat. What do you think, Celestial? Celestial. Uh, uh, is there... Is it where we part ways? What? Celestia, you gotta come with us. It's way more fun when everyone's together. Hmm, I don't know. Celestia, don't give me that look. Well, of course I'm going with you guys. Yeah, woohoo, hurrah. So she says. What a relief. I was trying not to think about how sad I would have been if you say goodbye. Well, it is an honor, everyone. An honor that we hope to share. As they say, it's not just the de destination, it's about the journey, too. Can't wait. Yay. <laughs> Controlled yay. 
It will be lively. Well, shall we get going? I trust you, Mr. Enigma. Actually, I need... I need you to go in first, otherwise I won't be able to examine the code. Jump in, and I'll redirect you. Okay. Chapter 5, done. Ah, it's super bright! Ah, my eyes! Ah! You know, you're even louder than you look. Sorry. <laughs> What's this? This seems a little different from the dimensional rift we traveled through before. Whoa! the lights out i can't see anything enigma i need comfort <laughs> hey my eyes are starting to adjust oh great <laughs> we're going into more alice in wonderland territory i wasn't sure how far we were going to go down the rabbit hole but here we are <clears throat> it, get, get it? It was another reference. <laughs> Whoa! Where are we? I've seen all four corners of the world, but nothing like this. I guess it's kind of funny to me, since two of my characters are, are based on Alice in Wonderland stuff. Like, two of my OC original characters don't steal. A room of black and white. There are lots of doors floating around. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're finally going to meet her. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> In a wonderland they lie, dreaming as the days go by, dreaming as the summers die. Are you lost? Uh, it's been so long since I've heard this voice actress. Also, just in case she kills us. Never mind. She's gonna kill us. <laughs> You may call me Alice. Alice of the Ludens. I am the Agent of Desire. Another one of the Ludens. Did you say Ludens? Yes. You have stumbled into the strain area, where we Ludens lay our weary heads to rest. We? They are Nova and Levin. Both of them Ludens, much like myself. <laughs> Care to welcome our guests? What? To these mere humans? What do you think you're staring at, bitch? Nice to meet you. I'm Levin. The flowers look lovely this time of year, don't they? Couldn't you two try a bit harder to make our guests feel more at home? <laughs> Shut up. Hey, human. Guess I should say hi. I'm Nova. Agent of Wrath. <laughs> I smell a bunch of weaklings in this group. Hey, elf girl. Like what you see? Maybe direct that glare someplace else, huh? <laughs> Lucia, wait! No, don't stop me. How can any of you be civil with them? <laughs> Leave it to Lily. I come to comfort her. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I died. Well, that's gonna be awkward. <clears throat> it took a while to talk Lucille down, but her state of panic was understandable. She soon recovered from her furious outburst, far sooner than I would have guessed. Man, I didn't know. Lucia had it in her. In an instant, however, a plum of crimson blood splattered in the air, followed by the sight of Lucille's body carved in half. The wind had been knocked out of me. I could scarcely process what was happening. Okay, that's kind of bad, because how far does this put me back now? Uh... <laughs> I have to fight the boss over again. <laughs> Okay, it kept that at least. Wait. I know what I'm fighting now. 
Well, actually, that might be stronger now. Uh... Yeah, actually, I should probably keep it like that. <laughs> I can't believe it got me killed. At least they have skip buttons, I guess. At least the boss isn't hard. Can't let my card down now. Just wait till I get to you. Shot again. All good. Let's go. Pushing. All right. Witness the light. Here I come. Hey, how fast? Hey, go. My turn. They knew. Jerks. Wow, they really are jerks. You know. Sorry. I guess they couldn't exit it because it has voice acting. I thought they always let me do it before. Huh? I... Uh, My... troublesome. I don't have like a fast forward button either, you just have to click through it. You may call me. Did you say Lu? Yes. We. Oui. They are Nova. <laughs> Care to well. What? Nice to meet you. Couldn't you two? <laughs> I smell a bunch of. Lucille, wait! No! Leave it to Lily. 
Please, stay calm, Lucille. We must hear them out first. <sighs> Aw, does the poor baby want to kill me? Want a piece of me? Ah, ooh, I can't get enough of your anger. I want to drink it all up. <laughs> oh, okay. Why submit to the folly of pride when there are flowers to be seen? Hey. Hey! <laughs> Forget it. Never mind him. He is our agent of fear. He is skittish but peculiar all the same. Oh. <laughs> Your characters that we implemented into the game, right? Right. W what's going on? Let's listen to whatever they have to say very carefully. But her voice sounds so familiar. It's the one we heard when he was getting hit by a car. There right? is one more of us, the one named Ripuka. Sadly, however, she isn't here to join us. Yeah, we are. Where'd met her. she go? Why isn't she here? Not sure. Her affairs are her own. I am not her keeper. Oh, uh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? Who are the Ludens? We're no one, yet. Why don't you tell us? Don't dodge my question. Sheena and I both know that you're not of this world. <laughs> this one loves to speak nonsense. Well. In truth, the answer is unclear for us all. Who are we to say what we are, or what we are not? <laughs> all we know is that we exist. That this place is known as the Strain Area, and that of the Ludens, there are four. Thus, all that is or ever was has already been determined. Nothing more, nothing less. That's not an answer. If the Ludens are, in fact, being played by real people like Sheena is, then would it confirm that Agle is involved from behind the scenes? No, they could be a group of hackers. <sighs> Which is it? Even if, let's say, you were humans in the real world, you're setting into motion things that cannot be undone. This world has been tampered with by an influx of bugs. Worst case scenario, you die. Haven't you caught on yet? <sighs> Mizunashi! Huh? Real world? I thought that we couldn't speak about the real world in front of Lily and the others. It might be risky that we let the cat out of the bag in front of the other NPCs, but this might be our only chance to get answers. <laughs> Master Arida, there's one more truth that I've yet to disclose. Master? We are unlike you. And unlike them. Lily and the others? They're different from the NPCs? Just how much do they know? And we are neither friend nor foe. Isn't that right, everyone? <laughs> yes. Allow me to prepare tea for our guests. Please tell us! Why did you bring us here? Or is this all some big misunderstanding? I've summoned you here. There is a favor of which I've been meaning to ask. A favor? We desire for you to teach us about emotions. What do you mean? Don't you guys experience emotions too? <laughs> that remains to be seen. Our request works in Master Arita's favor. Perhaps it could be the answer to what we are. Our wish is for you to visit us on occasion and speak with us when convenient. That is all. Huh? Hey, who's Arata? <laughs> uh, and she keeps calling him Master Arata. So does that mean that he accidentally created these things? Is it going to be like, like Digimon? How they were like a bug in some program or whatever, but then they became sentient life kind of thing? Like a Tron evolution type deal or something. I don't know. No. Ludens mentioned Mizunashi by name. What do I do? Of course, your deed would not go unpaid. In return, I can offer my assistance on your journey. 
See this? The countless doors reeling behind us? Each of these leads to another corner of our vast, splendid world. The mystical sky capital that you seek, Odyssea, is inaccessible to us. So there is no door that can lead you there directly, but Hardis, Godot. These are locations to which you wish Godot. to venture, are they not? Yo, little Miss Queenie of Hardis. Remember the kingdom you left behind? It's a huge mess right now. What? Oh, come to think of it. I recall hearing about the guards locked in the throne room, waging a sad battle they cannot hope to win. What? That's... Allegedly, they vowed to hold the fortress until their queen returned. Loyalty is hard to come by in these dire times. What a waste of life. So, what say you? The clock is ticking. <laughs> it's true. What you offer is invaluable to our cause. However, whether or not you can be trusted remains to be seen. <laughs> Do as you please. Sheena, sorry for jumping the gun just now. We'll have to catch Lily and the others up to speed soon. What do you think about the Ludens? As of now, they don't seem to be our enemies. Maybe we can learn more about what happened to the world from them. I poured you all some tea. Today's tea of the day is Earl Grey. And I hope it is to your liking, Miss Sheena. Huh? Th thank you. I don't want it! <laughs> Lucille? I hate you. You associate with Rupuka. I don't need you or your stupid offer. Lucille, calm down. If what they say is true, then they become our key to reaching Odyssea. How can any of you even speak to them? They work with a vicious murderer. Lily, I don't understand you. Your village must face the truth, as should Hardis. You just want to return to Hardis, don't you? I see through you. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know, this won't let me save it. Oh, oh, um, oh, I hate them. You hear me? I don't want their help. Lucille, wait! You can't run off alone! What do we do, Enigma? Lucille just barged through one of those doors. God damn it. I guess this ruins our negotiation. Jeez. Fine. Lucille, wait! Sheena, let's go after her. Okay. <laughs> How wonderful. Emotions flow from her like a raging river over the edge of a fall. The way emotions should be. Sheena, heed my warning. Huh? You cannot leave this world. What? Sheena? Coming! <laughs> what happens if she leaps? Does she die? Huh? This is... Hardest palace. <laughs> That's ironic. Whoa, lucky choice, Lucille. Now we can get right to helping Lily's people. You sure know how to pick them. Aren't you happy, Lily? Yes. Thank you, Lucille. I was being snide. Eh? Huh? <sighs> Lily, what's going through your mind? Aren't you upset with me? I'm not quite sure how to respond. Fine. Whatever. Let's go. If we're in Hardis, you can simply snatch up a terminal stone for us, can't you? Oh, jeez. Awkward. My, my, Lucille. Someone's cranky. Considering Lucille's best friend was murdered along with several people from their village, I don't think it's fair to call her out for it. Well, I suppose hearing my compatriots make a deal with my most hated enemy would rattle my bones, too. So, what's the next move, then? Luckily, it seems like the dimensional rift we exited from is still here. If we want to return to the strain area, we can just hop back in. I'm concerned about Lily's soldiers. Let's hurry to the throne room. Hurry? Right, I guess. Let's do that. Huh? Lily? 
<laughs> Is Lily now functioning? She did seem to react to the whole uh, real world thing before. Enigma, there's one more thing that I've been mulling over. What is it? That Alice girl kept calling you Arda. What's up with that? Oh, uh, that. Damn, she remembered. Lily's a sharp one. Think of Enigma as a puppet of mine, a being that I can control remotely, know what I mean? Arda is my real name. I'm the one in control of this bear. Don't think too hard about it. But how would our enemy know your true identity? She seemed pretty friendly to you, given she called you Master and all. That, I don't know either. I'd never met them prior to that conversation. Actually, I had a feeling that you'd bring this up. I can imagine it's hard to contain your skepticism, so let me ask one thing of you. Slee, believe. Believe in both Sheena and myself, please. Sheena's only wish is to make this world a better place. My goal is to make Sheena's dream into a reality. And that's where we're heading to Odyssea. Hmm. Well, I guess that answer will have to do for now. Listen here, bud. I still have a ton of questions to ask you next time we set up camp. Except, except you and I to have a lengthy conversation. Sure, whatever. I don't plan on keeping anything from you. Hmm. Gathered so many. I crave more. Give me more. Master Arda. Huh? Oh, we are forced out. <clears throat> Wait. Is this going to be that <laughs> Arda was the one who set this all up? And this is... That, that would be strange. <clears throat> What if this is going to be like the apocalypse happens in the real world and he boated them all out into, <laughs> into fake land? That would be kind of weird, too. Boy, I don't know how strange this game is going to go, though. There it is again. Another dream where someone calls out to me. Actually, did it count that? Yeah, it did. Man, talk about a terrible way to wake up. Whose voice was that? It sounds so familiar. I awoke in a puddle of drool. I guess I had fallen asleep on my PC again. I noticed that someone covered me, covered a blanket over me. I couldn't imagine Toko or Lydia doing a kind gesture like that for me. Maybe it was Ren. It was Murakana. <laughs> I rubbed my tired eyes before peering back at the world Odyssey screen. I saw that Sheena, my girls, had already set up camp. I couldn't lose focus of the task ahead, guiding them to the ending and engage. Still, where in the world is Sheena's body being kept? And if the NPCs were humans too, then where were they? As our suspicions about Eagles and Bulbas and increased, Munakana, Rin, and I tried reaching out to them, but we never got a single call back. Damn it. It feels like we're hitting a dead end. I just wish that I could reach Detective Hizuma at least. Ow. They still hurt. The wounds I had sustained while I was tortured by those rabbit people throbbed inter intermittently. Jesus, I'm gonna lose my mind. I have no clue what the Ludens are. As I glanced over the clock, it read 3 a.m. Tokwa, Lydia, and Ren were all fast asleep in the rooms. Minikata had signed to them. Should get some shut eye too. They say that even three hours of sleep makes a difference. Actually, there was someone I needed to visit. I needed to get things off my chest after all. Might very well be awake. Beep. In the end, I chose not to go. I needed my rest. Now more than ever, anxious thoughts claw at my claw the mind uh, fatigued mind. I sent an alarm for three hours. Took one last look at Sheena as she slumbered peacefully inside my monitor. Sauntered to the sofa and let my eyelids close for a time. Three hours later. Really? 
Oh my, Arda. First you sleep at your desk. Now it's a sofa. It's no way to live, man. Kid needs a blanket. No, oh, it's at his desk. Here, I'm gonna tuck you in, okay? Hey, I was right. Get some rest, kid. You deserve it, alright? We're all rooting for you. Good guy, Munakata. And then he kills. <laughs> I underestimated in my exhaustion. I slipped into a deep seat, sleep in a matter of seconds. That was unbonus to me. As soon as I fell asleep, my email box pinged with a notification. The CEO had emailed me. Beware of... Aphius? Yes. Aphis? I don't know. Mina, I was doing some investigation on my end and I noticed something. Got a moment? Sure, what's up? Think back to when you first awoke in World's Odyssey for me. Try to grasp all the details. Do you remember sending me an email with the World's Odyssey MGMT address? Email? No, ever since I awoke, I've been present in this world. I have no means to send an email. It could have been something I did before I awoke, but with my memories gone, there's no way for me to know. Right. Do you know what it is? What Iris is? Iris? Sorry, I don't. Who's that? We don't know either, but it sounds like someone's name, doesn't it? If anything comes to mind, then I'll let you know. Okay, did something happen? Oh, it was something that I haven't been able to shake. Nothing for you to worry about. Just focus on the task at hand. M Mizunashi, are you okay? Have there been bad people who tried to harm you? She's always one step ahead. If harm comes to you, then I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Right, I'm fine. Hey, are you crying? I have a right to worry. <laughs> I have a right to worry. You know, if we're on a mission... Oh, sorry. Thanks. Promise me if the situation becomes too dangerous, you must run. Okay, okay. Well, I won't be able to run unless I'm sure that you've made it out of here safely. Mm. Come on, look alive. Lily's well, gonna call you out. So what are you in right now? Double layered, so it's hard to tell. The enemies changed. This is Dodd. We're already defeated. We've already defeated the Atoma Queen in this area. They should have prevented more bugs from spawning around here. The martyrs here are stronger than before. What's going on? Don't tell me there's an even stronger queen lurking around the corner. What? We never. We'd be on a never ending chase. Yeah, if they're supposedly lower levels. Or as strong as they are, we might have prioritized finding the terminal stone to make it out alive. None of this doesn't bear repeating, but Sheena, don't die. Okay. <clears throat> Nitty, do you have any idea where the terminal stone could be? We can't afford to waste time. Huh? Oh, um, my father, uh, the king, was asked with tasked with protecting it. I'm not sure. My insects tell me that he might have stored it inside Hardest Vault, nestled deep at the center of the palace. Got it. Once we verify that your soldiers are safe in the throne room, let's make our way there. Okay. Lily, are you alright? You don't look too hot. I'm fine. Let's hurry. this. Ah! <laughs> oh. 
What's wrong, Al? The, 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 there's a dead body. <laughs> dead body. It's a little hard to make out in the dark, Al. Stand still. Bree. Hmm, this is... <laughs> that looks like a dead body. This corpse, or what's left of it, has decomposed for the most part. But make no mistake, that's a body, all right. It, it gives me the creeps. <laughs> mm, is it just me, or does it look like a mummy? M mummy? Silly, don't touch it, it might be swarming with germs. Ugh. No need to make a mountain out of a molehill. Now, let's dial it back a bit. This person's already done for. Someone may have left it out as a trap. I think we'll be okay. Judging from the size and outfit of the corpse, I guess it used to be an adult male. I can't tell what its occupation was, though. Yes, but it's completely shriveled, just so we know. Is this person from your kingdom, Ubi? No, he's not. <laughs> I've never seen a mummy before. Me neither. Travelers have mentioned finding them in snowy mountain ranges or ravines, but this is my first time encountering one in person. What's up with this guy's outfit, though? I've never seen clothes like these before. I wouldn't be called to dead with that ensemble, but I guess the same couldn't be said for him. Is it tribal? Is it tribal? You all right? Yes, but this outfit. Yeah, this person was definitely from the real world. Mummy-type enemies aren't unheard of in fantasy-themed RPGs, so wouldn't normally draw this much attention. But a fully embalmed human, something that has no place in this game, is a different story. Just another example of something that does not belong here appearing from the real world. Someone's rotten corpse, nonetheless. Yeah, I know. Do you think he died here, or did they drop in after the fact. No clue. It's hard to tell he was mummified after arrival or if someone thought leaving a dead Johnny for us to find was just a joke. Dead fish and frogs are eaten from the sky. It's one thing, but this is something else. An enigma? How can you stare at it with such a straight face? What do you expect of me? It's a dead body. Is there an enigma? What's the matter, Lucia? Why are you stretching your arms out? Snaring Enigma, I want a hug. Oh, I see. Thanks, Lucille. It's the thought that- What? <laughs> Snaring Enigma's down. Stop putting up a front. Is Lucia that worried about me? Sorry if I concerned you, I'm fine. Haha. <laughs> Someone's death is in no way fine. Lily's the only one who doesn't seem to care. Lucille? The memory of Rupuka murdering her friend is still fresh in her mind. I don't blame her. Lucille, are you going to let your grudge against the Ludens gnaw at you from the inside? Do you seriously expect me to cooperate with them, those sick murderers? Lucille, you're awfully rude. It, it's fine. I understand where she's coming from. However, as the queen of my people, I must put my duties first. No matter how difficult it is, if I let my emotions sway my judgment as a ruler, then I would be portraying hardest in our people. You, I hate that part about you. Oh man, there's not much room for me to chime in. I feel like Recklessly throwing my head and will only make matters worse. Keeping my mouth shut is probably for the best. Just in case they tell me to not keep my mouth shut. Calm down, you two. Don't worry, I'm as calm as can be. Lucio, we all come from different walks of life. There are going to be times we don't see eye to eye. Letting your ha hatred fester by lashing out at others has one outcome, loneliness and sorrow. I think you need to rein it in. 
I mean... She's been through so much. Though I wasn't there, I believe all of your anguish and frustration to be justified. But at some point, you need to let it go, or else you're only going to hurt yourself more. L2. L2. Lily, the same goes for you, too. For you. You're technically right, but you should show a bit more compassion towards Lucille. Some kindness wouldn't hurt. I think the two of you need to meet each other halfway and come to a reasonable. come to a resolution. I can't meet her halfway. Lily? I am queen. I am more than myself. I must act on behalf of my people. That is not to say that I do not acknowledge your point, Enigma. However, I need her to understand that there is more at stake than her quest for vengeance. Oh yeah, point well made. This isn't going to be easy. I just can't... Lucille. Hmm. Alright, then let's just move on, shall we? Don't do today what you can do tomorrow. Another classic sexy line. But what should we do about this poor soul? I hate to say it. Uh, I hate to say it, but we have to leave him behind. As much as I'd like to bury him properly, we're not exactly in safe haven. This place is crawling with martyrs. Okay. Lucille, you're so kind. Um, would you mind letting go of me now? Okay. We were able to defuse the argument, thanks. No small part to the Celestial. But I think we'll need to be careful when dealing with Lily and Lucille. Ugh, they have so many C's. What a headache. Yay, I got a mummy in my inventory. Day bright. How see you around. I think I'll do the real world part and then end there. What? I had to be out of camp. The CEO and I have been investigating the mass terrorist who kidnapped and tortured Mizu. Nashi, at last, uh, we found something. Aphis, the company frequently posts articles that display Eagle's trending news app. A thesis? Holy crap. The CEO had just sent a out an email to us the previous night that read Beware of Aphis. As soon as it was brought to everyone's attention, an emergency meeting was called. According to Rin, there was a secret organization known as Aphis Lane, which was relatively unknown in Japan. The organization was enormous, spanning over dozens of branches throughout several countries. Their front, a social welfare non-profit. Proactive use of SNS and innovative social media marketing gave them the tools to influence an unprecedented number of young fo younger followers. A few years ago, rumors floated about a tech company seeding influence in young users to create an AI that would dominate the world. At the time, their follower account on social media app Twister <laughs> had more than 1.5 million followers. Some speculated that they were actually a religious organization founded in the late 15th century who once practiced occult methods. The word aphis, in Greek, means a release from imprisonment, spirituality, or literally, the occult. The occult studies in question proved to be alchemy. Some high ranking members of this company were subjects of investigation, that is, until they vanished. No one spoke of it again. They're a bunch of doomsday, doomsday crazies. I think their name has some roots in antiqu antiquity. They were obsessed with salvation and this idea of relinquishing yourself from your body. It was more like a cult, really. 
So let me get this straight. These rabbit people are actually part of Aphis. Are you positive? Oh boy, it's starting to sound like I might be right in some ways about uh, some of my proposed theories. <laughs> like, are they sending people into this other world as a way to save them? Air quotation. Iris might be their super AI. <laughs> this might uh, this might get pretty weird after all. Yes, when I rescued Mizunashi from out of their capture, there was a tinted car parked outside of the warehouse. I slipped a GPS device on it, just in case, and tracked it after we escaped. It was later parked in an abandoned warehouse in a coastal town. The warehouse in question was owned by a company under the Aphis conglomerate. Our CEO was able to connect the dots immediately. Damn it. Are they bad people? Should I be scared? Bad is relative. They're certainly experts at evading detection. I'd expect nothing less from a weird cult that masks itself as a non-profit. They dabbled in more than alchemy. Their central focus is influence, and they pour a lot of research into maintaining that influence. Precisely, Tokoa. Aphis couldn't help themselves when a chance to invest in Eagle presented itself. What? Really? Really. In fact, Aphis owns a majority share in Eagle Inc. Higher-ranking Aphis members can be found in every department at Eagle. Eagle, the company who essentially monopolized centralizing hardware, OS and globally scaled IT infrastructure is owned by a secret society. I was just as surprised as you. Forgive me. If we had known of their affiliation from the start, we never would have worked with Eagle to develop the Alice engine. Oh, we've got another email from the CEO. So wait, that just means that yes. They literally... <laughs> their company, Enigma literally was helping the people that wanted a super AI to give them salvation make the super AI that was supposed to give them salvation <laughs> is what it sounds like. What, did they do it too well? What does it say? I'm sorry. Oh. Um, Rin, is he watching us from somewhere? <laughs> Mr. Glock re respects the privacy of his employees. I understand. I'm going to continue investigating Eagle's connection. Rin, I'm coming with. Not today. I'm heading to speak with a former staff member of Eagle, who was previously laid off. Discretion is our most crucial tool. Critical tool. Mm, that sounds boring. I'll leave it to you. Sure. She didn't really answer my question about the CEO. Oh well. <laughs> Man, that ring is sharp. It's attack. She's gonna get skin from a former. She's gonna get. She's gonna <laughs> get the skinny from a former staff member who hates Eagle. Talk about ducks in a row. I know, right? Huh? Wait, nasty Nazi. Didn't you wear Kregel too? Hmm. Have you not realized that you could have given Rin all of the answers she might have wanted? Hey, I left the company in good terms. No need to throw me under the bus like that. Keep it down, would you? Um, anyway. Tokawa, we found a new reality object. I need your help figuring out what it is. Oh, let me see. <laughs> it's a dead body. Hmm. Don't worry, Nazi. We all know you're a good guy. Spare me your pity. I'm gonna get to work. Later. Be careful, would you? It's dangerous out there. Right, thanks. I plan on heading over to Eagle to schedule a meeting with my former supervisor. Alright, thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. He's so easy, Dagon. He has the moments. He has his moments. We found an embalmed mummy inside of World Odyssey in Hurtus Palace. 
My first instincts was to ignore it. After all, a mummy seemed par for the course in a fantasy RPG, so I figured it was no big deal, but usually enemies or monsters glitched out shortly before disappearing. Dead monsters or NPCs dissolved as quickly as they appeared. However, the body showed signs of clear decay, decomposing in modern clothing, left to rot in a dim, isolated storage room. I've tried interpreting several potential key words, but I haven't come up with anything that would qualify as a truth fragment. I mean, mummies are kind of a broad topic, you know? I'm getting everything from Egypt-related articles to live burials, it's hard to pin down. Right, I figured the term mummy was occult enough, but... It looks like we need to narrow down our search range. <laughs> huh? What's up, Lydia? The TV! Watch the TV! The news! Spooky! News? We've received reports of a deceased adult woman found dead in the streets of Saga... Sagami City, whose blood was drained from her corpse. The woman was rushed to the hospital soon after. Her neighbor encountered her body, but she was pronounced dead on the scene. Sadly, this case is just one of a series of deaths that have been reported in Sagami area over the past few weeks. Authorities are investigating the possibility of foul play given the gruesome state of the body was found in. I can't listen anymore. It gives me the creeps. How does that even happen? Ugh. How can there be so many spooky events in one city? What am I going to do if someone sucks out all my blood? Hey, Arida, speaking of nut mummies, instead of scrolling through articles about King Tut, maybe this is what we're looking for. Huh? Wow. And the crime scene is right by us. We should check it out. Wait here, you two. Keep an eye on Sheena. Got it. Stay safe out there. Woohoo! <laughs> I guess they don't get to come along. I left Summer Life's office and walked briskly in the direction of Sagami Station. I noticed the library on my route before I made my way into quite the quiet residential area, then the victim's home was in view. Naturally, the entire vicinity was tangled with police tape, barring outsiders and onlookers from violating the crime scene. Given the high-profile nature of the crime, it drew intense media attention. Reporters were scattered about arguing with the police. Get back, get back. This isn't a show, you mongrel. Stop taking photos without approval. Oh, it's Detective Hizuma. Damn it, one after the next. We can't catch a break with all these crazies around. What the hell's wrong with this town? My mind swirled with a plethora of questions that I wanted to ask him, so I fought the urge to run up to him impulsively, but I was on the most wanted list, classified as a cyber terrorist. If he was to urge to see me, then you know I would be obligated to arrest me. It wouldn't be smart to put myself out in the open. For both our sakes, I stayed out of view. I decided instead to be on the hunt for truth fragments. There had to be a string of code somewhere around this crime scene. I duck low behind the bushes, sneaking around corners to keep myself hidden while I was sniffing around. We'll make a new one just in case. Man, you couldn't throw a stone without hitting a cop around here. I want to get closer, but I'd be spotted immediately. What should I do? Run through! Cops were patrolling every corner of the crime scene. But I already made my way here. It would have been a waste to simply sit around. I figured to hell with it. I'm gonna go for it. I tried sprinting past the police tape, doing my best to avoid detection. I suppose I don't have to explain what happened next. In a fit of regret, I pounded my forehead against the wall of my prison cell. However, there's nothing I can do about it anymore. <laughs> okay. That was kind of funny. What? What? What was that? A gunshot? Jesus, it came from the back. Did a firearm discharge? I don't know. It could be explosive alert. Get the civilians to safety. I'll guide them. Shit, I gotta find out what the sound was too. Here's my chance. All the cops sprinted to the back of the house. I darted out, glancing left and right to ensure that I was alone. 
made my way towards the house successfully. Someone left the front door wide open, so I slipped off my shoes and tipped it. Why would you slip off your shoes in this case like this? You don't have to be polite right now. On top of the dining table were signs of a meal that had been eaten recently. Plates and utensils were left out. There was a cardigan on the floor. Both the meal and cardigan appeared to be had been left out only a few minutes ago. The victim was found dead in her room, right? Had no time to waste. But rummaging ruminating, however, I was still trespassing. As soon as I find this truth bag and I get the hell out of here. I apologize in my head for my maleficence, <laughs> then continued to scan the room. Just then, someone's here. I held my breath as I perked my ears up. As I perked up my ears, I could sense someone in the room besides me. I decided to check it out. As I crept towards the room, sliding the door, I heard someone scurrying inside. The door was ajar and made glass, giving me a perfect view of what was on the other side. When I peered inside, I saw a person cloaked in a black hood and robe, crouched over the floor as if in a position to form some kind of ritual on the floor. At his feet, there was an outline of where someone had been lying down. My gut told me that the victim must have been found here. They spotted me. As soon as I was noticed, the cloaked figure leapt up and stared at me. Who are you? Are you part of the rabbit? I mean, Atheus? Aphis? Aphis? Not Atheus. Underneath his grim, shadowy hood, I saw a vibrant red mask covered man's face. It was unlike the area rabbit mask that I'd seen other Aphis members wear. He was distinct, akin to a shaman's mask that one might see in nature documentary covering the topic of tribal ceremony. Huh? Oh, wait! The man charged towards me, shoving me out of the way as he looked at to sprint out the house. I was too dumbfounded to move. Suddenly I was inside of the empty room by myself. If he was part of Aphis, why didn't he make an attempt to capture me? He had to be inspecting the site of where the dead body was discovered, but this is... There are letters here. It's a string of code. Etched onto the floor were glowing, were glowing light blue symbols, the color of which totally perplexed me. Illuminated on the hard wood was a new line of code. He'd use it to fix the bugs in World's Honesty, like the sticky note it was handwritten. Wait, did this guy write these down just now? I swear that he must be working separately from Aphis, but... How does he know the secret about the truth fragments? Damn it, I should have run after him. Where'd he go? I hear someone in the house! Hey, who's there? And I gotta run fast. I fled from the house with great haste, running out of the neighborhood to see if I could catch sight of where the masked man went. But it was useless. He was nowhere to be found. Oh, wait a minute. The masked man? I feel like I recognized him from somewhere. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's... it's... Someone's walking down the hallway. If the man, Kimaru, the owner of the diary, was murdered after writing those entries... That's right. When I had visited the Sayaki apartments to investigate the diary entry, I could sense someone watching me there too. Back then I ran off thinking that the footsteps belonged to a ghost or something, but it wasn't long till I found a string of letters there too. If it was the masked man all along, then maybe I can extract a witness report from him. Maybe I should head back there. This is it. 
I arrived back at the Sayaki Apartments, where I first came to investigate the meaning of the mysterious diary. The front entrance was, as I expected, locked. Last time the landlord happened to pass by and let me in. May I help you? Oh, wow, it's you, the landlord. Oh, aren't you the gentleman who visited the other day? Yes, I had some additional questions. When I was last here, did you notice anyone suspicious lurking around? Maybe they might have slept in or out while I was here. Suspicious? Hmm. Everyone who visits this place is a character. Aside from you, of course. <laughs> of course, but aside from me, have you seen someone, for example, who is wearing a bright red mask? Oh, now that you mention it. It was right after you left. They had a red mask and a black robe. Um, um, I had a bad feeling about them. Oh, really? What gave you that inclination? There were signs of this cookie ritual, I guess. Whoever it was left graffiti with glowing ink all over the wall. I was worried it was some kind of spill, see? When I found it later, I almost spat my coffee. Oh well, the building's going down anyway. Can I see it? Where is it? Sure, right this way. Sure, check out the spooky red lilac. I wasn't sure if I was relieved that my hunch was correct or not. The landlord led me back to room 204. That is where I... Oh, huh. Doesn't look like the glow is held up, but either way, here's what they wrote. In the corner of Kitam Kitamaru's apartment was a filthy, scribbled wall. Just like in circumstances with the mummy, the text had blue hue. However, only the latter half still had traces of color. The beginning half was discolored, almost black, blended with the rest of the wood. So I did some more investigating, asking the people around Sayaki Apartments in Yamabushi Park if they had seen anyone matching the masked man. Fortunately, plenty of people had witnessed someone with the, with the exact description. Does that mean the codes I've been found in these locations weren't there by coincidence? Eventually, I couldn't find any more clues, but it seemed as though all of the locations where I'd found truth fragments related to the occult were also visited by this masked man. Who could it be? I think it might be Arda, <laughs> which would be weird, but it might be Arda. Anyways, we did a little bit of grinding. We got everyone up to at least past level 50. We're getting closer to past... We're, we're getting... Like, we're almost level 60. And we're not that far into the game. We're only 16 hours in. So I'm curious if that means the game's gonna be like a 40-hour game. With just multiple endings. And then encourages you to replay to get all of the... All of the different death routes, since that's an achievement. That could be a possibility. Maybe it's shorter than I think, though. Because it does seem like some of the, uh, like, a lot of this is dialogue, and it seems like we zoom past a lot of the chapters relatively quickly. Either way... Oh, yeah, it says there's 11 things on there, huh? Oh. I guess I can just go back and get them, too. It looks like they let you go back and get the things. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, it seems like we're getting through pretty quickly. Either way, for now, anyone who dropped in, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Probably gonna play this more tomorrow. I don't think I have anything else going on. Might do a bit longer tomorrow, too. Try and get through another chapter. Maybe two chapters. Damn, that'd be nice. But yeah, I'm gonna go then. Go catch you later.